ET Classic Tournament Race win or go home scenario as we have King Salmon against Papa Shark. I am joined in the commentary this evening by the one and only Kev Nastics. Kev, how is your day going? My day is going pretty great, especially um, after the Sloters and Mr. Guy Average race, which I will not spoil for anybody, but make sure you check that out. I am in a Super Metroid kind of mood today, so I'm super excited. As our runners are in the starting gate, we are just waiting for the last of the checks to begin as we're going to get this race underway very shortly. Kev, what are you looking for tonight? Um, I'm I'm looking for a real clean race from both of our runners. We're, we're definitely hoping that there's uh, no serious trouble. You know, nice, easy lava dive, nice green gate glitch. Um, definitely hoping that Papa Schmo does a really good job since he was the one that ousted me out of the tournament. I'm very happy to do comms for him and uh, very proud of his work. And King Salmon, I'm, I'm a big fan of King Salmon. He's the guy who um, really helped me get consistent with the green gate glitch. So two friends of mine that I'm really excited to watch race tonight. Yeah, so buckle up and get ready for a nice night of GT Classic action. Chat, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, we're going to start with Sarah Station like we always do as we see Ridley, but uh, we're not going to get to be able to do anything about this. Uh, we're just going to watch Sarah Station blow up and we're going to see what our runners can uh, have their escape time be. What do you think, uh, Kev? What do you think they're going to get on Sarah's escape? I know Papa Schmo regularly gets around to 44. Um, King Salmon is a little bit stronger, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a 45, but I think a, I think a dual 44s is a real safe call. Hopefully we'll have limited steam, RNG. Yeah, we'll see. It looks like we got magnet stairs on Papa Schmo's side. Always frustrating. Oh, the stair steam gets King Salmon. <laughs> I like that. It almost brings him through the door real close together. Yeah, the, there's the backside steam on that stairs that I, I just absolutely hate because if you don't see that right away, you almost have to jump over it or else it's going to just going to tag you as you're running down. Oh, I agree. Absolutely. So it looks like Papa Schmo got a 41. Um, I did not happen to notice King Salmon's time. King Salmon was a 44.90. Nice. I might be absent chat today because my phone keeps kicking me off Twitch. It looks like it's time to update it. All right. So I know Papa Schmo uses Moonwalk, and I'm uh, guessing King Salmon does. Do you do you know if King Salmon has Moonwalk on or not? I I don't. That is something you don't normally get to see unless you uh, absolutely know the runner themselves. Uh, that is a deep menu item that uh, gets selected before the game starts. Nice. So a couple of the uh, smooth no moonfall parlors. So we've got no moonfall on King Salmon's side. We do have moonfall on Papa Schmoes. Oh, it looks like he actually missed the uh, the jump <laughs> off. It's always a bummer. I think uh, you know nothing against Papa Schmo, but I think he needs every advantage he can uh, he can gain against King Salmon. Um, we're sitting in here. Papa Schmo is sitting around a forty as far as a PB, and I uh, actually got a race PB in our race that we had last week. So I'm kind of hoping to see Papa Schmo capitalize on that. And um, King Salmon is around a 37, I believe. So a little bit of disparity there, but both very strong runners. And um, we all know that the gate will decide. Yeah, don't let the uh, don't let the race PBs fool you. Anything can happen in these races between the uh, Red Tower. Red Tower is low key kind of a, uh, a thing that will slow you down, but the real barriers come at Lava Dive and at Green Gate Glitch. Anything can happen. It's part of what makes this race category so fun. And so volatile. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I thought I had to have been nuts when I when I started racing this category. I'm like, how on earth am I going to be able to get through all of this? Um, but you know what? You practice enough and you can do it. Join in. One of the great things about 
GT Classic, uh, especially when it comes to this tournament, is the number of PBs and race PBs that this community has pushed as we drive the the times down, the average times down. Everyone in this community is working real hard to improve their game, and that's just one of the cool things that, that this kind of competition brings out the best in us. I mean, before this tournament started, I had a 41 PB, and I dropped it all the way down to a 39.14 by the time I got out of the tournament. So, um, and, and I know a lot of runners have gone even much lower than that. So I think you're right. It's been absolutely exciting. Everybody's at the top of their game right now. And um, we're, we're coming to the last couple weeks here of the tournament. So a little struggle in the climb for both of our runners. Uh, King Salmon getting out of there just a little more quickly. So Do you see King win. Salmon taking it easy today? I did Papa not. I, 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 I did not. So I can't imagine. I, uh, I, I know that Salmon was unhappy with uh, his performance in the last race. So I, I have a feeling that um, he's looking to improve upon movement, specifically, uh, if I remember correctly, the Meridia section. Yeah, the one thing about these is it seems like no matter how good you do, uh, unless you're Mr. Guy Average, you you probably <laughs> don't think that your run was very good. And we're often our own worst critic, uh, as that's some pretty smooth drops there for King Salmon on uh, on VT. They're a nice clean kill, and uh, no health loss there. That was pretty that was pretty awesome right there. Let's see if Papa Schmo can uh, do the same. Good start. I think Bad he drops. went in without full health, and uh, I say he got some health drops there, but uh, relatively clean, quick clean up uh, on on that one. He's going to get out of there at a good time as well. Yep, neither runners are going to struggle with missiles. Um, I'm pretty sure Salmon will kill the pirates. Uh, I'm not entirely sure with Papa Shmo. I think sometimes he just beasts through the pirates, so we'll wait and find out. Hopefully Alcatraz will be easy. Yeah, Alcatraz <laughs> is, is one of those ones where until the muscle memory really kicks in, it, it can be a little difficult. But uh, once you get the mechanics behind it, once you get that muscle memory in, uh, these things lock in. And that was a good second attempt there. I get nervous when I start getting Alcatraz a little too often. I start psyching myself out. and uh, I have a feeling that uh, it might escape me at some point. I think every single runner is due to miss Alcatraz at some point. The, the better you are, the longer you get to go. But... Uh, there is a point you're going to miss it, no matter how good that you are. Absolutely. What's your favorite, um, I guess, strat as far as the early game? Let's say from like the start of the game to Red Tower. What's your favorite strat or favorite uh, part of that early run? That is, that is a tough question because even in the first, you know, eight, eight, nine minutes of the run, there's so many good things. I like a clean bomb Torizo. I think that's that's probably getting the clean bomb Torizo is probably the most skillful thing I think you can do in the first segment of the game. Well, since I am completely incapable of doing that, um, I can get close. I got to tell you that my favorite section of the early game is Green Hill Zone. So that's kind of like uh, the room I look most forward to in the first five, first like 10 minutes. We got both of our runners have picked up a missile drop. This is great. Uh, already getting that ammo, uh, getting prepped for our crate runs. We'll see if they pick up charge beam and or charge missiles here. Looks like King Sam is opting to skip charge missiles, but pick up charge beam. So we'll see if Papa Schmo uh, chooses either of those. If not, he can save some time if he knows the strats to get through. Um, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. I really think that uh, Papa does the missile kill on Craig. I could be mistaken, um, but I do expect him to skip charge missiles. Uh, like again, I, th I think Papa Shmo is going to be going for uh, every little bit of edge he can get against Salmon. Oh, yeah, he is skipping charge beams, so here we go. It does make Red Tower just a bit different in regards to um, how precise it, it takes uh, to, to get up that hero shot. Uh, the hero shot is very, it's faster, it requires faster, as well as that gate. That's a great gate shot by Papa Schmo as well. Um, it's Whereas the charge beam moves a bit slower, gives you a chance, as King Salmon did miss that shot on the climb. I feel like he was a little too far left. 
Yeah, one of the one of the tips is get a really clean ledge grab on that ledge you're gonna take the shot on because that puts you uh, as close to the edge as you can get. As they got the hero shot, the hero shot doesn't quite make it either. I think the wall jumping wasn't quite fast enough. And also to mention, Salmon had an absolutely perfect hellway. Beautiful. Yeah, see, the one Schmo. downside to taking damage from the pirates, Papa Schmo's health's a little low right now, which changes uh, the the approach to Hellway a little bit. You're less inclined to do all of the D boosts uh, because you're going to go down 10 more as you take a shot from these little yellow things going out of power bombs. He's going to be at 57 energy. Um, it's going to change up the way uh, I think he'll think about reverse Hellway. I wonder if he was having any flashbacks from his first tournament match when he uh, left that room with five health. Was did he was he the one or was it Professor School maybe that the power bombed them? That was got Papa Schmoll. From them? <laughs> Papa Schmoll. It's good knowledge of the game though to know where you can pick up health when you need it. Yep, and still going risky, not doing any farming there. So we're gonna have to pay attention to uh, Papa's health here for the next couple minutes. Um, I would at this point probably recommend Slaughter's refill, but um, who knows? Maybe he's just gonna game hard. Yeah, because you're gonna if you don't shoot this um, scree. Yeah, okay. So, oh, he's not even opting for the D boost on the scree either to save health. And they can drop health, but it's uh, not reliable at all. Couple of tries, but Salmon getting that one tow, uh, one tile jump into warehouse. It's a little bit of a tricky bit there. Already, both runners having a little bit more trouble than I would expect. So this could this could be a very interesting race. Sam has got three missiles loaded. I wonder if he's going. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for this. Uh, oh, he's got one missile left. Is he going for a farm or is he going to actually beam shot his way through Kraid? He looks like he's beam shotting. I think so. I think so. I think Sam goes for the four super method. And I respect this decision from Papa to attempt to farm health, but uh, not getting lucky. So going to have to get real lucky with this key hunter here and hopefully... Um, you know, mini crate doesn't pose a threat, so be careful. Oof, he's in health bomb range right now. That's not good. Yeah, he's gonna probably need to stop at these pirates for health. As King Sammy gets a nice, clean crate kill. Yeah, he may need to reload that mini crate to get the the health drops. That's yep, that's exactly what he's gonna do. You know, um, that that definitely happens from time to time. You just gotta kind of take it like a champ and just say, all right. Get it, be safe, you know, don't take any major risks. Got a little bit of high five and through the door here. Come on, Papa, bring bring down crate. You can do this. Good ammo for Salmon, too, coming out with a full five, adding enough missiles to take those pirates out easily. Sometimes you could just not get the drops that you need to take those pirates down with a good number of supers. Yeah, another clean quick kill, and uh, and again, that definitely with the missile saves time, because um, the only other method you'd use is uh, you'd power bomb those pirates, but that takes a little bit longer. Nice clean mouth ball by King Sam in there too. I I do like that trick as well. Um, it's just one of those weird timing things that uh, that even I still struggle with from time to time. It's my second favorite mock ball of the game, and I'm probably like yeah, seventy five percent of the time I can hit it pretty all right. So I think both of our runners are going to opt for high jump boots. That's been the pretty safe strat. Even the top runners are still grabbing high jump boots at this point. If for the most part, uh, it's it's a strategy that's more safe. Um, and I think in this tournament, sometimes uh, you want to go fast when maybe you're running for your personal bests. But when you're uh, you, when you have one race, one run to determine whether or not you move on, sometimes taking the safeties are, are a good play. And so most of our runners are getting high jump boots because of that. There is a high jump bootless lava dive, which is a lot of fun to learn, uh, but we haven't seen it, but maybe a couple of times in this tournament so far. Yeah, we've seen Sloters, Ruya, and Firebat for sure do bootless, although Sloters will admit that uh, he did not intentionally do bootless. Um, but, you know, when you're talking about safeties, it makes me wonder um, if we're going to see, because this is an elimination round for both of them, I wonder if we're going to see saves. Uh, Salmon did not save at Lava Dive for their last two races, I believe. Um, 
And Papa Schmo's behind. He may also opt to ab abandon the save. Yeah, King Sam is the higher seed of this race, so I, I would anticipate him taking the save here uh, as sort of a, yeah, there he goes. He is going for that save. There's no heroes when uh, you may be the favorite, but you don't want to lose your entire run on one missed input or one failed what have you. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. You know, if, if they were very closely matched up, like I believe we saw earlier um, in a race, you know, no saves, and that was a, that was a call they needed to make, but I, I definitely approved the save. Sometimes there are just the little things you can do that improve your time, too. Uh, Sam just got two clips through that were really, really nice. Once through the powerbomb block and then again through the door. Uh, these little wiggles increase your drop speed, your vertical speed when you do those. And they're just those little optimizations that can help either close a gap or widen a gap, depending on your position. Yeah, that's what really sets the top runners apart from, uh, you know, the mid-tier runners or some of you know, uh, runners below that or those little tiny optimizations. Papa Shmo is opting for the save, and that's not a bad play if you, you know, nope. don't necessarily know if you're confident. Sometimes that might be a good thing as we're seeing King Salmon's dive here. Nice. I'd clip. say whatever is going to get you finishing the run is what you ought to do. Finished runs are better than not finished runs. Absolutely. All right, so Salmon is coming up on the Green Gate glitch trick. So if you get those blessed GGGs out there in chat. Come on, Salmon. Break through this gate. Definitely a high anxiety section of the game for anybody. Um, Salmon's really practiced here. And I know Salmon does the jumping style. There's a lot of different ways you can tackle the gate. So he's going to run in, do a salto jump, and boom, super. Ooh, here we go. Uh, Papa Schmo gets a little bit of a struggle there as King Salmon Ooh. has to reset. Papa Schmo gets a little bit of a struggle on the entrance there. Uh, that's a high jump on the Namahe, but he pulls off of the jump button. That's fine, and it's nice and clean. Good job, yeah, Papa Schmo. Dude. We are really close together between these two. Papa schmo has got a save. They're going to high-five again, but Papa just closed the gap by a fair amount because of that failed uh, Green Gate glitch attempt by King Salmon. I mean, that's exactly what he needed right now. So um, if Salmon's watching the race, he's going to be feeling the pressure. Um. Wow, that's that's pretty. Sorry, Salmon, but that's uh, definitely makes it more exciting for us. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's it's not quite RNG, but it's gonna feel like it from time to time. There he goes. First try on the second pass through. Come on, Papa, give us a first try okay. pop right here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got nice. a relatively close race that is happening between our two runners. This is going to be good to see. That is, that is. And King Salmon nails the GT code, holding all four face buttons on the way in. Good job. And Papa Schmo hopefully doing the same. Don't have Nastics. Uh-oh. Interesting. Pa uh, King, <laughs> Salmon's got, King Salmon's got GT going the wrong way. Oh, man. Got him locked in, though. He's got him into that submission hold, and now he's going to be taking care of him. That's just an odd thing to see, getting GT on the other side of the room, uh, but still still well done. I'm saying like one out of every 15 runs, that, that might happen to me, but uh, I'm a little blocked out right now. I got the Twitch purple screen of death, so have at. Oh, thank you so much, Twitch, for, for bringing <laughs> us this great broadcast uninterrupted. <laughs> Both right, of our runners are opting for the uh, Shine Spark exit. A lot of people are doing that. I'm not a huge fan of it, but uh, it, it's not a lot of harm. So, you know, to each their own. I'm not going to lie. I do it for the swag. I know that it's not faster, but it's just kind of fun. Fast pillars for Papa Schmel. Nice work. Meanwhile, we've got worst room in the game, which is really just another room in this mode. But uh... 
I love that phrase. It's just another room in the game. This could, this and maybe Hundo, you know, other than that, th that room is quite a mess. So right now as Salmon's going down, uh, he's hoping that Ridley plays nice today. We have seen Ridley change the lead a couple times in this tournament. Oh no, bad power bomb drop. As we see, we're attempting to clip through the platforms. It's not quite happening for King Salmon. Uh, that, those platforms are a bit tough to clip through. Uh, those are quite precise, although, I mean, I don't think there's much of a difference uh, between them and other things that you would do that, that sort of Kago through, but that one just feels uh, a lot tighter. As far as I know, um, they, uh, they're registered in the code as like enemies, which is why you can uh, affect them that way. Yeah, they, they are they are considered enemies for those for those purposes, and I'm I'm pretty sure in terms of the game, it, it, it's no different to Kago through that, uh, you know, as it would be for any other enemy. But uh, for some reason, those platforms are just very finicky when it comes to the um, that morph ball technique through. Because if you do the turnaround, if you attempt the turnaround, I think you'll still get hit from the platform. Uh, your iframes are going to run out. Your your sprite doesn't clip through fully before taking damage. That's why most people opt for the that sort of Kago ball through those platforms. So we've got two Ridleys going on. This is a very close race. Yeah, Salmon really doing a you know killer job. One bad grab right there, but for the most part, that was a really clean Ridley fight. Uh, decided to throw in some supers there due to their higher DPS, you know, damage per second. So. Uh, Papa Schmo staying a little bit airborne, using the screw attack to his advantage. The screw attack will help you go through most enemies so that you don't take any damage and also opting for some supers to try to bring down Ridley a little bit faster. Yeah, you definitely want to do yeah. those in multiples of three, uh, just with the mathematics. If uh, the charge wave plasma hits for 900 damage, uh, and I think the supers hit for 600, so three supers equals two plasma shots. Anything outside of that, uh, and it, you still need the same number of plasma shots. So, um, yeah, the multiples of three are really what's recommended on those supers. Quite a bummer there for Papa Schmo. He got trolled at the end by Ridley. He just wasn't playing nice. You can see if you're watching the stream, throw his hands up and just like, seriously, Ridley, I know you're dead. What are you doing? Yeah, unfortunately, Salmon's getting trolled a little bit by the, the Wasteland platforms again. <laughs> I, saw. I saw. Oh, man. I wonder if they know how close the race is right now. I don't know. I tend to not watch my opponent that might change soon but i tend not to watch my opponent i can the best way i describe it when i'm you know talking to people about it is i try to equate it like you would play a game of golf or some other solo sport uh yes you can do certain things that increase your chances of passing your opponent or otherwise uh but what they do you know doesn't directly affect your game and what you do doesn't affect their game so all you can do is just play your game um, and play within your skill set so that's that's usually why I don't care to watch my opponent because uh, I don't think anything that my opponent does should affect uh, how I approach a particular run. I'm with I'm with that. Uh, I want to mention that Papa Schmo got a really great wasteland speedball, so GG for that. And um, myself, I was a competitive athlete, so for me, um, I do like to see my my competitor. So you know, uh, but I. I did not when I was uh, racing against Papa Schmo. I was too nervous to watch the restream, so I ended up just kind of catching out whatever we did in the chat. So um, for me, it just kind of depends on who I'm racing. I was so closely matched with Papa Schmo, I, I couldn't I couldn't watch. <laughs> I was too nervous. As our runners are making their way out of Norfair, we've got a couple of clean exits, relatively clean exits here, no major issues. Uh, otherwise, we're making our way to Meridia with the shrimp and the snake. It's good stuff here. I'm going to take a look at the elevator time here leaving up in Norfair, and we'll get, a, get an idea exactly how far apart we are. I want to say it's uh, roughly 30 seconds at this point. <coughs> 
23-36 touch for King Sam. The one downside is uh, if Papa comes back and watches this restream later, you probably noticed this. A lot of the plasma wave charge ice shots can create a significant amount of lag. Uh, if you do too many of them with too many monsters in the room, it, it generates a significant amount of lag. And, I, and sometimes uh, that might you know, trip you up. It can throw off the timing of certain things, or just in general, it slows your game down, which in an RTA setting uh, can can really hurt you. You're absolutely right. Those are the same kind of optimizations we started off this race talking about. And um, Papa Shmo and King Salmon are about 28 to 30 seconds behind one another right now. So um, that's that's definitely very exciting. We're still with uh, in the range of, uh, you know, Fantoon RNG, um, Baby Skip, you know, close enough, close to that. And, and I absolutely agree with you with the lag on those plasma shots. That's something I've tried to cut down on and use more missiles to kill enemies uh, at this point because um, you have a lot of them. Both of our runners opting for the Mount Everest spark. Um, the other alternate way to do it would be, of course, to jump over the mountains and use space jump to get up the door. I kind of like that just because of the lack of health loss. Um, yeah, especially if you had a particularly punishing low in warfare, that can be really good, uh, really good, because um, you don't want to stop and wait for the Metroid drops when you get to Turian. Um, there's really no danger of losing all your health right now, but you want to keep that health up so that you can just kind of, you know, super through the Metroids, not worry about drops, and then go for baby skip and a potential pauseless. Looked like Salmon went for a halfy or full halfy attempt and unfortunately sparked into the ceiling. Thankfully, he sparked into the ceiling where he could move on as opposed to sparking into, say, the left wall. Oh, got the feels bad Coliseum. Oh, this is a chance for yet oh a little bit of a gosh. chance here now for Papa to catch up. We can just cleanly get through the next couple of rooms uh, up there. Uh, this is definitely a time to close some of that time as Papa Shmo's not even attempting it. That's going to save a little time for not sparking the ceiling. Papa, Sh Papa Shmo going to be Cinderella story out of nowhere. Oh, got the little oh, trip up man. there on the platform. We got another feels bad Coliseum. Come on. Meanwhile, King Salmon's messing around with D-boosts and short charges. So we had a little bit of a high five action. They're going to meet each other in the room. How cool. So nice to see the race this close. Hey. I'm sure Salmon's kicking himself, but I'm really excited about it. It's really yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a great microwave kill. Yeah, absolutely. Pop and making sure he selects the correct beam. Excellent. Very well done. So we oh, absolutely... he did not get he was going for the spike shine suit, spark. Yeah. The spike suit, yeah. I, I think really he impressed. missed it. He yeah, missed it all together and then I think hit some sort of up A combination or something like that, and that's what sparked him into the ceiling. He didn't get the bad frame on it. I think he just sparked up. I think you're right. Um, one thing I like about Papa Schmo is he's very, very aggressive and um, has improved quite tremendously lately and always goes for a lot of bigger strats. We're starting to get him in runs, so I have a feeling regardless of the outcome of this tournament, it's going to drop times really fast. Definitely. The thing about the races is you're really looking for consistency. If you're grinding PB attempts, you can certainly take all the attempts you want. That's some great movement there in the single tile gap by, by King Salmon. Uh, you, you, you can grind PBs all you want. You can reset all you want until you get the right run. Uh, but races uh, really just uh, make you have to play consistently. Get those completed runs. Lock those strats in. Uh, and just get some repetitiveness to it to make sure you can perform well when it comes time. Agreed. So no foosball. No foosball there by King Sam. It's a little disappointing. We should subtract some <laughs> points from him a little bit for not getting that, but that's okay. I almost, I almost feel bad. We've hyped up foosball so much, you know, and it's just such a hard thing to get that every time we get here, it's like foosball. Oh. Yeah, I think I've done. I think I've done four matches, and I think I've only gotten one foosball, and that was the one in Wasteland. 
Right, I remember that one. I got uh, I got one in my very first tournament match. Uh, I got the actual foosball, and uh, I've only done two ever. Yeah, so I think I'm tough. I'm one for eight in this tournament, so my percentage is pretty low. I can't be knocking on anybody else. <laughs> It's a good looking West Ocean from King Salmon. There's a little gap in there that you don't want to hit uh, on your way to the door. All right, so uh, does this channel have uh, the, the Fantoon guests? Uh, otherwise, get your Fantoon guesses there in chat. It is a typically a one cycle match as we're gonna microwave him the same way we make microwave Dragon and Batwoon. A beautiful, beautiful a fast eyes. for. Yep. I was gonna say, I'm sorry. A fast for uh, Papa Schmo and a slow for King Salmon would narrow the gap. I don't think it's enough for him to pass, but it would narrow the gap a bit. Fast for King Salmon. That was quick. And a clean on-screen kill. Good job, King Salmon. That was a solid one. Papa Schmo cojacking supers all over the place. Oh, nice. good. that was a good speedball there. I really thought he was, I thought he missed it. And then I think holding, <laughs> holding the jump button with spring ball I actually think saved him. That was pretty great because I thought for sure he was too high. I, I'm pretty sure he was, he was bouncing in that. We might need to clip that and go figure that out. I think spring ball saved in there. Just unexpected tech. This game never, you know. This is this is not the first time we've had the guy behind given a slow when the guy ahead was given a fast. It's like yeah, Fantoon that, just wants to add insult to injury. Yeah, I think that's technically two today. No spoilers, but <laughs> yeah, seriously, that that Fantoon completely changed the outcome of the earlier race we had today. All right, so no clean moat, just a standard moat jump over for King Salmon. Uh, sometimes, I think, maybe Kevin, maybe it was you who mentioned it yesterday or the other day. Uh, the, the thing about speedrunning is not just doing individual rooms very fast, but it's being able to link two, three rooms together, those strats that bring those particular sections together. Uh, yeah, I've definitely mentioned that a couple times. I think specifically in uh, Lower Norfair, a couple places in Meridia, you know, coming out of the wrecked ship. It's just, it's so important. It's like a... Uh, just a well choreographed dance. Papa Schmo on a tear. Come on now. I want to know how close to Papa Schmo is. I bet you he's on TV pace right now. Got to be close. Um, I can tell you in a second, as soon as he hits G4, I, I have both their streams pulled up in full. Nice. I actually do, too. I just, for some reason, I my eyeballs ignored Papa Schmo splits because uh, I've been watching a lot of Super Metroid today. <laughs> So we've so got a 31, 31, 30 G4, uh, or I guess, yeah, I think that's right. Not a position, sure. Uh, I think he had a, uh, King Sam had some splits issues earlier. Yeah. So King's, uh, so Papa Schmo is on a 12 second PB pace. So there's some hype there. That, uh, that's not going to put him below 40, sub 40, but pretty close. Um, wow. So let's see, we've got Metroid rooms, we've got Baby Skip, still some really exciting stuff coming. I love Turian. We got grouping strats by King Salmon, and uh, that's a great way to save supers. That's a great way to get uh, Metroid health drops and still keep the rooms pretty fast. Yeah, I prefer the grouping strat there. The only time I think the, like, there's two reasons you wouldn't do the grouping strat. One, it's not as fast as just individually killing killing them. I will fully concede to that. Uh, but yep. two, it's also not a good strat to do when you're low on health because then you, you have a hard time really making up those health drops. If you're below, say, 400 energy or something like that, it may not be the best strat to do. Yeah. 
I mean, All right, we're coming up on a pivotal section of the game right here. Uh, words cannot describe how important Baby Skip is in the terms of uh, closing the gap if it is missed. So either both of our runners need to hit it, or preferably, I guess in this case, uh, uh, in Papa Schmo's case, <laughs> King Salmon misses this. We certainly want to see it because it's a great technique. Yeah, there's there's not a racer among us, I think, that hasn't lost the race due to baby skip at some point. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, that is a that is a baby grab by uh, King Salmon there. Uh, so we'll see what Papa Schmo does. I don't know if Papa Schmo's been working on that baby skip or otherwise. Oh, he has, he has, he he got that baby skip in the race against me. He's got it in at least one other race that I'm pretty sure about. Um, definitely a newer strat for Papa, but he is fully capable. <clears throat> And not only that, but I know that Papa Schmo does uh, spring ball zeb skip. Uh, Salmon doesn't have screw attack on, so I'm not sure. Um, you know, we might see just a regular um, ice the rinka kind of baby skip, the first one. Um, wow, interesting. Uh, move, just awkward room for, for King Salmon. Jumps are looking good for Papa Schmo. We hesitate. Oh, that hesitation will get you oh. every time. Again. That was so close. He looked like he couldn't decide whether or not he wanted to go to the to the the corals and then jump over, or if he needed another jump. And by the time he decided, the baby was on him. I'm with you. That was that was really close. I thought he was going to have it, but you're exactly right about that hesitation. So, but it's not over yet. King Salmon still has uh, Mother Brain to deal with. Um, you know, has the appropriate amount of missiles right now. So, GG there. Yeah, we do still have one technique that has decided a match in this turn. At least one match in this tournament has been decided by a failed stand-up glitch. Um, and ultimately, so there is still one trick left in the book that could close the gap for this. Uh, and King Salmon has to get this right. Um, it's it's not something I think we would consider hard, but sometimes if you're not oh. paying attention or you just jump wrong or move wrong, uh, there is the possibility of soft blocking and getting the baby Metroid out of position during the stand-up glitch. So King Salmon's just got just got paused this. That was uh, very well done right there. Um, pause this Turian for King Salmon. And a very aggressive mother brain too. So some really, really great movement by King Salmon to uh, uh, to achieve that pauses. Yeah, and so now Salmon did something we talked about a couple days ago about the different strats one would use to get out of uh, the floor or make sure you're not <laughs> sitting on the floor when the baby arrives. This time it was him bombing himself out of the floor. I'm not brave enough to do that. I just kind of hang out in the corner and just float. Well, I was informed earlier, apparently there is actually a thing about uh, the good cut scene and, and how you're supposed to approach that by spin jumping in the air. A little bit of a later start to the shots. You can actually start as soon as she stops changing color. Um, nice. But uh, but yeah, that's that's uh, it's not going to affect it too terribly much. You do need to make sure you're on the right side of the room before you reach 700 energy, though, because then the baby stops and uh, the mother brain starts shooting onion rings and the baby has to eat Ooh. 10 of them. Papa Schmo's really close to not being able to do stand-up. He takes one more big hit. So there he goes, safe, can fill the reserves. Take off that Varia. I've died before by not taking off Varia, forgetting about it, and then not damaging down fast enough. All right, so relatively clean stand-up glitch for King Salmon. This is really just a matter of making it across the finish line at this point. Uh, we, we're pretty much out of uh, insta-gibs, if you will. So this is pretty well King Salmon's to lose at this point. Uh, but definitely, short of baby skip, you, you can't... Uh, you can't be too disheartened, I think, if you're on PB pace at G4. 
I can tell already last night, uh, I can tell already based on the comments that Salmon had after his last match um, that he's not going to be happy with this run. So I don't know who Salmon is facing next, but um, I, I know for sure that they're going to want to be doing a better job than this to be able to win that match. Well, provided that Salmon hangs on and wins this, he will face Galamaz in the next round. So he's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, these these mistakes against a runner of Galamaz caliber uh, are, are just not going to cut it. Um, we know King Sam is, is capable of much better and uh, still, still doing a really good job regardless of that reset. Yeah, definitely. And like I said at the top of the stream, I think we are definitely our own worst critics as speedrunners. Uh, you know, we could put up uh, uh, what, what maybe people would normally view as a good time, and we would just be dwelling on all the mistakes that we made, all the time that we lost, all of those stupid things that happened to us. And again, that's what makes everybody so great. That's what makes you improve. All right, and that is it. Uh, King Salmon makes it to Deer Force One with a SRL official time of 39.26. GG, King Salmon. So King Salmon will move on to the next bracket. Unfortunately, this puts Papa Schmo out of the tournament. Um, however, uh, a relatively clean run, a very good run for Papa Schmo, um, provided that, you know, I can't see the screen because the Twitch screen again, but... Um, you know, Papa Shmo did a great job. It was really great having him in the tournament. And he's making his way up in escape and still just short PB pace, right? Yeah, he gold splitted uh, that uh, stand up glitch phase. Uh, he's got his splits broken down in terrain, I think by room. So uh, yeah. the stand up glitch portion looks like he got a gold split on. So there's always a good sign to see improvement. Yeah, that's one thing, you know. When, push your times down further and further and it gets harder and harder to have a PB. So I actually spend more time looking at my splits and going for gold splits. And then I feel like the PBs will eventually happen. Yeah. In this regard, it's really just about getting them all locked in on one run. And so uh, the more you can do that, the more consistent that you get, you'll just notice all, you know, immediately just that your runs will get better. Your pace will get better. And then, you know, you put all of the work in, the extra work, you bring the times down. It's it's all about time in the pool. So there you know, we go. You, I was going to say, if you think about it, this was probably Papa Shmo, one of the best runs he's ever done, even with all those issues, because I would imagine his PB run has no saves. Yeah, that's that's definitely I, that's I think going to be the unless you have splits specific to racing um then yeah you're, you're definitely going to be off by at least 20 at least 25 seconds in regards to the two saves that you would probably take um so that is an official srl time of 4103 so gg to papa Shmo. uh one second okay here we go we are joined now in the gt classic booth by our winner tonight king salmon what is going on salmon gg hey guys gg thanks thanks so much that was a uh that was a run <laughs> i'll tell you what <laughs> That was a run. <laughs> well, you know, we, we enjoyed watching a lot of it. Uh, it was really kind of uh, interesting after you missed the green gate. Uh, do you know how close Papa brought it in at that time when you had to reset? Um, no, I don't. I actually had everything turned off. And as soon as I hit reset, I even typed in my own chat. I was like, I'm going to need to haul ass. So I didn't pull up anything. I had just the game. I mean, he was knocking on the door all the way up until Fantoon. Uh, you got a you got a fast pattern. Papa Schmo got a slow pattern. So um, pattern, right Papa there Schmo was what kind of made the gap almost so, too um, too right tough to to combine, too, uh, even with your missed to, baby skip. To, but um, that put the race really really close and made it very exciting for all of us. Yeah, awesome. I was on. I was sorry to interrupt. I was on a PB pace um, until I missed baby skip. Uh, we saw that. And actually, the funny thing is, is uh, does your PB have saves or not? We were kind of wondering about that. Uh, it does have saves, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So... My, my, my PBs in, in uh, GT Classic have been made up of GT Classic tournament races. Every time I race a tournament, I get a real PB and a race PB almost every time. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, you I mean... guys high-fived at the save room before the lower Norfair elevator. Uh, King <laughs> Sam, you were you were coming out after your failed 
gate glitch, Papa Schmo, you were going in after Lava Dive. Oh, it was it was that close then. Yeah. <laughs> good game, dude. Yeah, right. for real. I'm glad it was a good show. Yeah, me too. It, it was planned, right? My GGG was planned. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> G- Adding a little tension, agreement. a little yeah. drama to the run. Got to keep the folks excited. Exactly. It's all about the show. I was yeah. I was really happy to see it. I'm really glad I was able to do comms for here, and, and I hope you guys get a chance to watch the race back. Um, you know, Papa Schmo, um, you're you're out of the tournament now. Do you want to leave everybody with kind of like your thoughts, your feelings uh, about your races in the tournament, and uh, how far you came, and how you know how your matches have been? Sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't uh, I don't have anything bad to to say about about this tournament or about the races that I had. Um, and I, I don't know how many people are actually watching um, this particular stream. I had some people from Speedrunners Arena raid me um, right as I was like starting the run. If any of them are watching and have never done GT Classic or, or don't know anything about it, I mean, it's a great category. This tournament was all run by awesome uh, people and they um, it, just, just come over man come check it out it's an awesome time a great time and i was just uh, happy to be a part of it i'm glad i i'm glad i actually won some uh some races this time around my first multi-category tournament i didn't win anything i still had fun but you know i was it was cool to actually you know go go a little bit further in the bracket this time so ggs to everybody and uh yeah i'm just happy man you did an awesome job. It was really great to run against you. It was really great to watch you and, and to do comms for your matches. Uh, super proud to see your improvement throughout the entire tournament. You know, GG, and thank you very much. Uh, Salmon, how, how are you going to prepare for your next match? Uh, well, I was actually scoping out Gala the other day, and uh, that's going to be a tough one because his average tournament race is about 40 seconds better than my personal best ever so i guess just hella practice and see what happens so well, are i mean you, uh, expecting a yolo lava dive like your last match uh oh uh, next when i against gala there's there's going to be no saves no and i save. there's going to be no saves and i may go for a single tank dive we'll see y- you know what i i almost have to cut everything i have to <laughs> I almost skipped lava save um, because I felt like I mean, and here's the thing: between you and I, there's there's like a, a three and a half minute um, race PB uh, disparity there, so um, it, it's kind of a, a parallel thing. Like I was I was thinking, well, you know what? I'm just I might just skip saves and and do that or whatever. So kudos to you, man. I hope that goes well. Hey, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. And great race today again. Hell yeah, man. GG, what? guys. Um, I mean, that's that's uh, kind of enough for me. It was really exciting. Uh, Sportsando, do you want to take a, take us out? I can do that. Well, and then there were 10. We have 10 competitors left in the GT Classic tournament. So uh, as we wave goodbye to Papa Schmo, we say GG and see you next mission. We do not have any races currently scheduled, but keep an eye on that GT Classic Discord that I'm pretty sure C7 or Firebat has linked into the chat. You can follow us for all of the goings on. Come see Strats, Super Metroid discussion. Uh, Come chat about the tournament with us. Everything is there. Uh, We will have our next match scheduled posted there. Uh, But until then, I have been Sportsando. I am speaking for Kev Nastics and the rest of the crew, Firebat for restreaming and the runners, King Sam and Papa Bro. GG, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Be excellent to each other, and we'll see you next mission. Thanks, guys. See ya. Take care. Peace.